Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining us on The Business Report. I'm Denise Williams, your guide through the latest happenings in the world of business. President of the Small Business Association of Jamaica, SBAJ, Michael Leckie, says its members are anxiously preparing for and bracing for the potential impact of the approaching hurricane barrel on their businesses. President of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, Sydney Swaites, said his members were also taking the approaching hurricane seriously. He says the country's export operations will shut down on Wednesday. However, other players in the sector will be watching the latest forecast before closing local operations. He said to the press, quote, so it kind of depends on the company and the approach, but everyone is aware of it and everybody is using the approach that is benefiting their business, end quote. The Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Jamaica met on June 26, 27, 2024 and reviewed its recent monetary policy measures, which resulted in the BOJ maintaining policy interest rates at 7%. This action was aimed at combating high inflation, which peaked at 11.8% in April 2022. Recent data shows significant progress, with headline inflation at 5.2% in May 2024, within the target range of 4 to 6% for three consecutive months. Core inflation also showed a downward trend. Digital Education Group, Edufoco, has rolled out a number of cost-cutting measures, including the retrenchment of a number of staff, which alone is set to save 7 million Jamaican dollars monthly or $80 million annually. Between January 2023 and March 2024, the public company, which trade as Learn, has released 43 team members, comprising of a mix of contract and full-time staff. For the 2023 financial year, consulting and staff costs accounted to nearly $130 million, representing 36% of the group's total expenses of 361.6 million Jamaican dollars. With its new business model, Edufocal is transitioning from one-off projects with long payment cycles to developing software offering broad use cases predictable revenue, lower human resource requirements, and higher net margins. Dollar Financial Services Limited has opened its 11th branch in the parish of St. Thomas. In addition to the branch opening, Dollar Financial will launch its one and ready, two and drive loan promotion for taxi operators. This promotion, running from June 28 to December 31, 2024, offers taxi operators the chance to win a 2018 Pro Box and a full tank of gas. To participate, applicants must apply for a loan with a valid ID, TRN, and a letter of commitment from the Taxi Association. They can own the taxi in 32 months with weekly payments as low as $10,999. The new branch and promotion are set to significantly impact the community, providing both financial services and opportunities for local taxi operators and the public in general. During trading for the period July 1, 2024, the following companies represent the top three most active stocks that investors bought and sold on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Online trading company Edufoca Limited with 3 million 818,941 units amounted to 23.53% of the market volume in terms of sales. Toll Road Operator Trans Jamaica Highway Limited with 2,843,956 units amounted to 17.52% of the market volume in terms of sales. Investment firm Sagicor Select Funds Limited Financial with 1,343,746 units amounted to 8.28% of the market volume in terms of sales. Over on the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange, trading on July 1, 2024 registered a volume of 79,064 shares, crossing the floor of the exchange valued at 1 million. 
18 Trinidad and Tobago dollars and 63 cents. Massey Holdings Limited was a volume leader with 38,846 shares, changing hands for a value of 156,137 Trinidad and Tobago dollars and 87 cents, followed by First Caribbean International Bank Limited with a volume of 18,690 shares, being traded for 128,961 Trinidad and Tobago dollars. Moving from the money moves of investors, executives, and companies, we turn to the Forex market. On July 1, 2024, the Bank of Jamaica reported that US 69.5 million was bought from Forex traders, while US 64.9 million was sold to Forex traders. Buying directly from the Bank of Jamaica, foreign currency traders sold the US dollar for $157.18 and bought the US dollar for $155.07. The difference between the buy and sell rate was $2.11, which represents a profit for Forex traders for every US dollar traded. Canadian Forex traders earned a trading profit of $1.67 from transactions with the Bank of Jamaica. The Canadian dollar was sold at $115.02 and bought for $113.35. For traders looking at the British pound, they pocketed a profit of $5.20, selling it for $198.84 and buying it for $193.64. For our credit report tip of the day, as an entrepreneur, we're asking you to think about your personal credit different from your business credit. Once your business is legally established and you have an identification number for your business, open a business bank account. This account will be used for all business transactions, helping to clearly delineate between personal and business finances. Regularly using this account will also provide a clear financial history for lenders. And with that, we wrap up today's business report. I'm Denise Williams, appreciate your company. Stay well informed, stay ahead of the curve. Until our next update, take care.